Now let's look at folder tracks inside of Cubase. This is by far one of my favorite functions in Cubase. When you right click over here on the screen over here, you can uh, select a function of adding several different types of tracks, audio tracks, MIDI tracks, group tracks. Um, one of them is a folder track. Let me move this transport bar out of the way. I created a folder track and let me call it, uh, for the sake of argument, we'll call it drums. I'm going to quick make a duplicate of each one of these tracks. I'm just going to right click and select duplicate and it makes a copy. Right click and select duplicate. Let's pretend the green ones are drums, which they actually are, but let's pretend the yellow ones are guitars. I would come down to my folder track and I can move it anywhere I want by highlighting it and clicking and dragging and it drags it to another place. Now I can highlight these tracks. These are my drum tracks so let me move this up here. I can highlight these two drum tracks and grab them. I did that by clicking, holding the shift key down and clicking again or the control key. And then you grab these and you drag them over the folder track till you see the green arrow. And now these are in a folder track. You'll notice that this folder track here has a little uh, plus and minus that lets you collapse and open the folder track. So the two drum tracks are still there, but they're inside of a folder track so that when we don't need to look at them, they're out of our way. Let's do this again. Let's pretend these are guitars. Add folder track. We'll call the new folder track Guitars. This is by far one of my favorite functions inside of Cubase. Now I can highlight by holding the shift key, I can highlight the guitars and I can drag them into the folder track. Now they're inside of the folder track and you'll see that, I'll move it up. If I want to work on my drums, I click and open my drums. And if I want to work on my guitars, I click and I open my guitars. It, it takes like 50 and 60 tracks and puts them down to like four and five folder tracks. But there are other advantages along with this other than just uh, cleaning up your, your desk space and gaining more real estate on your monitor. For one, now I can solo this entire folder. So I just soloed all of my drums, or I could solo this folder, and now I just soloed all of my guitars. That's really handy. Likewise, I can mute all of my drums at once, or mute all of my guitars at once. And I can tuck in, which would mute. So I can mute my drums from uh, bar four out, or I could do, I could split the track. And now my drums will go from bar one to bar three. They'll drop out for a bar and then they'll go from bar four to bar six. So folder tracks not only clean up your deck space, but they give you a lot uh, more capabilities in your editing. Like I said, you can solo a, a folder, you can mute a folder, you can uh, edit, you can even copy entire sections. I've just moved all of my drums. Folder tracks are invaluable, and I just recommend that you, uh, you know, if you're using more than six or eight tracks in your song, that you, you use folder tracks. You can always take your files or your tracks outside of the folder just by simply grabbing it and dragging outside. Now you see that the folder track, this is the folder track, no, this is the folder track. I took this guitar out. So now this folder track only has one uh, guitar inside of it. You can actually put a folder track inside of another folder track, which is really awesome. You know, if uh, I want to put, you know, create a music folder, create a folder that says music, and I can put my drum folder in there and my guitar folder in there and my keyboard folder in there so I can hide all of my music. Likewise, on the vocals, I can have all of my vocal folder tracks inside of one main folder track. Let's do that for purposes of demonstration. Okay, I can create another folder track. Let's call this music. So now I'm gonna put my guitar folder track inside the music folder, and I'm gonna put my drum track inside of the music folder. So now this is 
this is all of my music and it's actually several folder tracks so now i can mute all of my music solo all of my music or edit all of my music all at one time i do folder tracks for um my drums my guitars my vocals uh, everything that has more than a few tracks in it 